let's pull one from the Oracle of the Angels and just see what the message is going to be today with that. Strength, strength. Okay, part of strength is what we just had the reading on today as well, setting boundaries, okay? And strength of truth, holding to truth, okay? So important. Strength, it's good fortune. Let's see what else we have. You know, sometimes strength comes in the ability to be vulnerable. That's also a strength. Soulful. Okay. So if you have the strength <clears throat> and good fortune that you are soulful, you are seeking who and what you are at the center of being that is good fortune. Okay. That is good fortune. And continue to have the strength to follow your journey. Okay? Because at the end, what do you get? At the end of the rainbow is the pot of gold. You know, at the end of the irritations of the oyster, what is it? They have the pearl, the pearl of great Christ. It comes out of what? Suffering. <laughs> irritations <laughs> okay <clears throat> at the end of the rain is the pot of gold you have the, the the beautiful colors and the pot of gold now during the rain it can be beneficial or it can be uh difficult it can be a delusion the strength okay but it is it's all about following your path and you gain strength through the difficult times if you have the good fortune to be soulful, to be fully immersed in your spiritual path, it's a blessing. Okay. When it comes to voice, the challenge is take a breath. Okay. Sometimes it's better, rather than being vocal, to, to just breathe, to be silent, to observe and question and that's the way one gets to realization or the divine the celestial okay is the path <clears throat> following back to get to the divine and find out what ego is not okay find out what god is and ego is not okay and that's a strength. It takes strength to continue to walk that journey, okay? Strength to break through the illusions and delusions that come up along the way, the illusions of truth, the things that we hold true to, that we think are truth, and if we actually look at them, observe them, question it deeply, we'll find out that it's a mistaken belief, and it has held sway on us for perhaps lifetimes, okay? <clears throat> so it's all about having the good fortune to have enough strength to follow your path to the end, to complete it, okay? It's not an easy journey. I never tell people the path is easy. Never, 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 never. Very difficult. But the end of the path is realization, moksha, freedom, liberation, uh, 
massive shift in consciousness from being a suffering persona <clears throat> to being fully within the moment, okay? Living life in the moment and again, knowing 100% about what the divine is, the, uh, the, the substance of the universe, what it is, what it's not, what the divine is, is what it's not, about God, about ego. All of those things are uncovered. All of those things are known in an instant. It's like an immediate download when you break through that curtain of illusion and delusion. Okay, and then one is free. One has gained freedom. One finds out they have always been free and we have been free to suffer as long as we continue in that path of, <laughs> of illusion. Okay, concocted around some idea that we are a limited form with a limited life, etc. Okay. <clears throat> so again, you have the strength to continue your journey. Put up boundaries. Boundaries are very important. Um, you don't take in everything because, again, the way shadow works, it likes to cast a seed of doubt in there and then works on fueling that, continuing to, to fuel that. And that's how people go down these rabbit holes because they started with a seed of doubt, you know. I think one of the worst ones, just yesterday I had somebody on there that started going down. 9-11 was done by our government. Now that's the most ridiculous thing ever, but they absolutely believe it. How does it start? A seed of doubt about the government somewhere. And then, you know, you get somebody talking about this and that it just keeps growing and growing and growing until there's really no foundation in reality any longer okay so they've entered a totally different universe than the one i live in i know that <laughs> but again you know like the person was here the other day believed that 9 11 was created by a government that the vaccines are are you know you don't take this vaccine COVID is a myth it's a hoax it's you know they go down into an absolutely alternative reality and i know that's not a uh, quote unquote reality that i want to live in <laughs> okay they are welcome to it for as long as they want to to be in that that craziness they are welcome to it. But if you want, don't want to go down that rabbit hole, then again, set up boundaries um, and uh, do the spiritual path. Do your path. Find out what is God and what is ego and the illusions and the fantasies and the dramas that are driving the mind and driving one in suffering and pain. Because... I'm telling you, most sincerely, you can get beyond it. You can get out of it to that peace which passes understanding. But it takes being willing to walk and challenge these things. Okay, It takes being willing to do the whole of the path and putting one's trust and faith in the universe, in God. Okay, So I'm going to leave this here.